Hi, what's up? Colby Sharp here, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Today we're going to be talking about Gordon Corman's latest book, Operation Do-Over. This is his 99th book. I don't have all 99 of his books, but I have a lot of them. And chances are, if you've been teaching kids this age, or if you are a kid this age, you probably have read books like Restart and Slacker, Unteachables, Super Gifted, Gifted. You probably read Ungifted. I mean, all of these books. You probably read you probably read so many of these. What's his face? Another great one. Well, I'm telling you, Gordon Carmen is just a master. He's a master storyteller. He's an absolute genius when it comes to those middle grade readers, especially those middle schoolers. Holy smokes. This new book is amazing. Operation Do-Over, story of Mason, whose life is going wonderfully. He has a great life. He's got the best friend, Ty. They finish each other's sentences. They're as tight as friends could ever be. And then Ava moves to town and they all kind of fall in love with her. And Mason and Ty uh, make a pact to not pursue it romantically at all, even though they both are super crushing on her. Turns out Ava likes Mason. They kiss at the, like the festival, harvest festival. And then uh, there's a picture and Mason and Ty break up as friends and to never be friends again. Well, this book, what's really cool about this book is it kind of floats back and forth in time. You get a chance to like start with them in middle school and then you see what it's like for them as seniors in high school where they no longer talk because of the situation with Ava. Even then goes back to when they first met each other when they were really young and how they became great friends. Uh, but most of the book is spent uh, after, so Mason gets in a car accident on the way home from getting in trouble. You need to read the book to find out why. Uh, when he's 17, gets in a car accident and he wakes up back in middle school before Ava came to town while he's still best friends with Ty and he is so confused and so he's like is, am I dying is this part of being dead am I gonna go back to when I was 17 like what is going on but he's got an interesting opportunity because going back five years his parents are still together his dog hasn't been killed by a car and he's still really really good friends with Ty it's so interesting. So he decides to try to do things to change the outcome of his life. He's trying to train his dog to not get hit by a car. He's trying to do things to help his dad not annoy his mom. And when Ava moves to town, he's trying very hard to not fall in love with her, to not have a relationship with her in any, any way. He decides to join the football team. He is very much not a football player. He's the worst on the team by far. It is so interesting. It is so fascinating. Kids are going to not be able to stop reading it. I couldn't stop reading it. I even woke up early on Sunday and started reading it. I just love this book. Operation Do-Over is a home run by the master, Gordon Carmen. His 99th book is so stinking good. It's going to be the easiest book to book talk with kids. They're going to fall all over themselves reading it. They're going to love it. They're, they're just, you're not going to be able to have enough copies. It's that good. It's phenomenal. It is so much fun. Reading should be so much fun. Check it out. Operation Do-Over, 99th book by the one and only Gordon Corman. My name is Colby Sharp. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have an awesome-tastic day.